and welcome to this course entitled Crypto Passive Profits. We are going to start with this first introductory lecture, which is named Introduction to Crypto Wealth. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about three uh, main methods that uh, we are going to cover in this course about how to generate passive income from cryptocurrency, which is a trend at the moment and it's starting to become widely adopted. So let's move on. Here are the three methods of passive earnings that we are going to discuss about in this course. The first one is staking cryptocurrencies, which means basically that there are platforms where you can uh, deposit your different types of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and others. And because of staking them there, basically you are putting them in a, in a side deposit and you most of the times you don't have access to them for a limited period of time. Uh, basically, you will earn an interest on that crypto. Then we have the second method, which is lending. There are platforms like the peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms where, for example, if you have Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other type of cryptocurrency, you can lend that cryptocurrency and you earn an interest on that. Usually it's somewhere between 10% or uh, and goes up to even 25, 30, 40% per year, depending on the cryptocurrency. But the average and the one that you should consider is the, uh, let's say, somewhere between the 10 and 12%, okay? And then we have the third method, which is copy trade platforms. There are a lot of platforms which allow you to copy different traders. These are trading platforms where people trade cryptocurrency and uh, some obviously there are some people there who are uh, professional traders and do this as, uh, as someone would do a normal job and they are professional at that and you can see their results and you can copy them okay so these are the three uh, the three things we are going to talk about the three methods we are that we are going to talk about that allows you to generate passive income from cryptocurrency Thank you very much for uh, watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next. Hello and welcome back to this next lecture from this course on how to create uh, passive income from cryptocurrency. We are going to discuss about uh, creating your accounts on different platforms and these are some general things. Uh, so which are the things we are going to discuss about? Basically all of these platforms given the fact that they work with people's money, they need to have a high degree of security uh, for all of their users, including you and other users as well. So that is why they need to verify your, uh, they need to verify your person very, very well to see that you are that the real person that you exist. You are the actual holder of the account that you create. So when you are going to create the account, you are going to have to uh, fill in different forms with your name, phone number, address and so on. Okay. But these are like the main general things that they will require or the list. Okay. And in order for them to be able to verify your account and basically uh, give you permission to do different types of transactions, they will also require from you uh, a couple of things in order to, to get you verified. And one of the first things that they will require is a copy or a photo of your uh, national identity card, a front photo and a back photo. Then they will require a utility bill, bill or bank statement in order to confirm your address. And then they will require a selfie or a photo of your face, okay, to basically match uh, the ID photo so that, so that they can see you are that actual person. These are the general things. Now, depending on the platform, they might require from you other stuff as well. Okay. Other documents that you need to provide to them. But these are the main things and uh, you should prepare this ahead uh, before actually going into this. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture. Hello and welcome to our next lecture from this course on how to earn passive profits from cryptocurrency. 
In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the platforms that you have at your disposal in order to use one of the free methods that we have presented in the first lecture, which are the staking, the lending and the copy trading. Okay. On some of these platforms, you are going to have, uh, let's say one or two of the methods on uh, some of them. You only, you are only going to have one of the methods and uh, on some of them, you are actually going to have all three of them. Okay. Uh, also in the description of this lecture, you are going to find the links where you can actually register and create an account on these platforms. We have to mention that these are affiliate links. Uh, that doesn't mean that it costs you anything to create the accounts, but in the future, if you are going to decide to actually use the platforms and uh, use our methods and actually do trades over there, uh, the platforms are going to pay us a commission. So not you, the platforms. Now, looking at the, okay, looking at the platform to start with, we have Bitfinex, which uh, basically we are locked in right now. You can see how it looks in the dashboard. Uh, we know it might seem a little bit complicated, but you are going to see what we are going to use in, Bitf in Bitfinex is not complicated at all. It's one of the oldest platforms and one of the best, okay, one of the most stable and secure. Then we have Binance.com, which is actually the largest platform from what we know at the moment uh, for trading cryptocurrency. They have a variety of services and a variety of ways that you can uh, use, uh, use it to trade crypto. Then we have Economy.com, which is a platform for copy trading and it's pretty secure, pretty big. They have some good volumes over here. Then we have Bitmax, which is a, a very good platform for trading, but also for stacking. And we have Nexo, which is probably uh, it's a custodian platform. Uh, and from what we know, that means it's a little bit more regulated than the, than the other ones, which also means you don't earn as much. You cannot earn maybe as much. They don't have as many services, but they are more secure. They are backed up by, uh, let's say, bigger institutions or companies. OK, so uh, this one should be uh, good to go as well. And they offer uh, some very, very good and let's say attractive and sometimes sometimes they offer also different types of promotions for lending uh, cryptocurrency and er earning on your cryptocurrency that you don't use by lending. it. OK, you can see that you earn up to 12 percent. Now, let's let's open an incognito window to show you exactly how an account opening looks like. Basically, we are going just to show you and as an, as an example Bitfinex because on the other ones it's similar. You just have to go and press the sign up button in the right top corner and you will have a basic form to fill in the beginning. Okay, username, email address, password, so on. You open your account, you will have to confirm your email address. This is something that you'll have to do for each of these platforms. And after that, you will have a verification process, as we have told you, in order for them to see that you are the actual real person. And in order for you to be able to deposit money, do trades, invest them, withdrawal, you will have to complete this verification process because they need to see that you are the actual person, the real person. Okay. So enough about that. Again, if you want to uh, sign up, please use the links from the description or the resource file. Obviously, if you want to support us, if not, you can just go ahead and and sign up where, however you want, okay, directly on the platforms. But we would appreciate it, obviously. And we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture. Hello and uh, welcome back to our next lecture from this course. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the platforms that we are going to use in order to uh, apply the free methods of earning passive income from cryptocurrency. And we have seen that these platforms are Bitfinex, Binance, Economy, Bitmax and Nexo. OK, there are other platforms out there as well, but these are the ones that we are going to show you exactly how how you can use them to to actually apply these methods. And we are going to start with the first method and we are going to show you on each of the platforms uh, where you can apply these methods, how it works. OK, 
And the first method that we have discussed about and that we want to show you is uh, bitfinex.com. Okay. After you do the account creation, the verification, uh, what you need to do in order to uh, start up using the, the staking, uh, the staking type of service, you need to deposit some money into your Bitfinex wallet. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, Bitfinex is a platform where you can actually deposit money like euro, uh, USD, okay, or uh, or uh, pounds in order to buy cryptocurrency. Okay, it works also like an exchange if you want to, or it trades also between uh, let's say Bitcoin and US dollars. So you can buy cryptocurrency and you can exchange uh, you can exchange them between them on this platform. So you don't need to buy the crypto uh, from somewhere else and then exchange it into crypto and move it on Bitfinex. You can actually do that directly here on the platform. So after you log in, you are going to see that in the uh, in the top part of the screen, in the in the menu, okay, you are go you are going to have an icon which says wallet, an option in the menu. You are going to go on the deposit function. And in the deposit function, you can select, as you can see, payment cards. Okay, so basically, you can fund your wallet from Bitfinex with uh, with your card. Okay, you can pay with your card, and you just have to go to payment cards. You select one of the services. Uh, basically, they allow you to buy directly from uh, euro or USD, okay, or other uh, let's say currencies, Bitcoin. USDT, which is uh, Tether USD, Ethereum, Fron. We recommend you to buy Tether USD because from Tether USD, basically, you can buy all the other major, uh, major uh, coins. Okay, and you have to check which of the payment processors you are going to go with because they are going to take you a small fee. Okay, it's either one, two, three percent. It depends. Okay, so that's how you fund your wallet. Now, after you have some money in your wallet, what you can do is go in the more section and into staking rewards and check out what staking offers they have at the moment. OK, we have earned, we have basically opened a new a new window. We are not going to go into a lot of details about what staking means. Staking means basically uh, putting those cryptocurrencies that you have for for example the ethereum or uh, or others okay to work with more cryptocurrencies and it will generate like a reward okay so basically they will be part your coins will be part from like bigger projects okay or bigger work and they will generate a reward because they are the platform is using them for that okay and if you are going to scroll down you you can see that you can deposit for staking and you can calculate your potential rewards okay for different types of cryptocurrencies and for example let's say we want for polkadot which is a very popular uh, which is a very popular uh, uh, crypto uh, currency at the moment and it, it will show you that uh, basically the equivalent in dollars of a Polkadot is 44.66 dollars. So the yearly rewards for one Polkadot in staking is 2.4 uh, 2, 2 USD dollars, which means that it's around, if I'm not mistaken, 7% per year. Okay, so it's not a lot, but obviously it's, uh, it's earning earning it's passive income and if you are going to scroll down you can see basically all the earnings for the major the major cryptocurrencies okay and for ethereum it's one of the best estimated annual staking rewards up to 10 percent okay for polkadot exactly as we estimated around seven percent so ten percent is not bad at all okay basically this is passive income you just think about it if you put your own money or cryptocurrency in the bank you have maximum per year maximum maximum and that's if they have different special offers maybe two percent one point five two percent okay that's a maximum and if you take in consideration the inflation as well i know a lot of people are talking about that but 
it's something real okay you might not actually earn anything you might actually maybe even lose okay or something like that so uh, staking it's let's say much more lucrative as a passive income than uh, returns or dividends from the from the bank or other type of institutions okay obviously it's a little bit more risky but with the major platforms it's very similar to to banks and other other institutions as well okay so this is how you earn from staking and obviously do your own research be before uh, before actually going into this we want to just to show you the how this works okay now another platform where you can do staking is binance and in binance is very similar to uh, to Bitfinex in terms of how it works you will see that you have a wallet as well you just click on the overview button of the wallet okay you just click on deposit and you can buy crypto with your credit card it's as simple as on Bitfinex okay you buy crypto with your credit card and then if you are going to go to finance in the menu you will see Binance Earn you just click on Binance Earn you are going to see that you have some type of earnings here okay and if you are going to scroll down to fixed terms you are going to see staking okay and if we click on staking we can see what we have for staking okay view more and here we can see all the offers that we have for staking it's with a fixed term i mean you put your coin okay your coins for example near you put your coins in there and you lock them for 30 days and the estimated annual earning interest is 10.79 obviously you will get probably for 40 days around one percent almost one percent okay so if you are going to have 100 near you are going to have 101 uh, also uh, some platforms have compound have compound interest rate which, which means you can reach higher returns it means that they add the earning every day and then they calculate to the whole earning okay and if you scroll down you can see all the staking offers that they have okay so it's easy as you can see it's not complicated at all now another great platform that you can use and we are going to finish with the staking it's bitmax and if you are going to go on bitmax again similar you can go to your asset you just click on deposit and you see what you can deposit here okay basically uh, to deposit on on bitmax you first have to buy from somewhere else okay you cannot just you cannot just uh, pay with your payment card or something like that okay you have to buy uh, the crypto from somewhere else or just go to the fiat payment i mean you don't have it directly in your wallet you just go to the fiat payment and you have bank card payment and you can use two providers and basically here from here you can make the switches it will take you a two percent fee rate and you just buy buy the coins that you want and after that because that's what we want to show you is the staking bitmax offers a very good staking program they have plenty of opportunities here as you can see polkadot is better and if you scroll down you can see other projects as well okay you can see they have many projects and for some of them it's very very good uh, staking rewards very good okay so just check it out uh, bitmax it's one of the best for staking rewards so that's about uh, all with staking Thank you very much for watching this lecture and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture where we are going to discuss about the lending function. Thank you again. 
Hello and welcome to our next lecture from this course on how to create passive income from cryptocurrency. In the previous lecture we have talked about uh, staking and which are the platforms where you can uh, do staking with a good margin of profit and now in this next lecture we are going to talk about uh, where you can uh, earn passive income by lending your cryptocurrency. Uh, basically you fund your wallets on the platform with your cryptocurrency if it's ethereum uh, bitcoin or even with your us dollars or euro or pounds okay and you can lend them just like in peer-to-peer -peer lending and you can get some uh, very good rates so first platform we are going to check out it's bitfinex and you already know how it looks like when you have uh, logged into your dashboard this is like the main dashboard a lot of numbers here and we have the wallet where you can deposit, withdraw, uh, wallets reports. This is not so important, but if we go in the left side, we have the funding, which has funding and lending pro. And we have the more section where if we are going to uh, scroll down in the menu, we are going to see the lending products. If we are going to click on the lending products, we are going to see all the currencies available, okay, for lending. And we can see here a few of them. And we just have to check our balances and see what we can deposit in order to lend. For example, here we have ZRX. If we check ZRX has 3.45% per year return. Okay, so if we put this 22.97, if we deposit them in the lending account at the end of 12 months we are going to get back this amount plus another around four zrx's okay so it's a decent percentage then we have the lending pro function which is a little bit more advanced and if we are going to check the lending pro function just bear with me for a couple of seconds. It loads. Let me just refresh it. Okay. So this is the landing pro function where basically you search, you can basically check here the, okay, the, the currencies that you can lend and you can see the rates based on the rates basically here what you have to do here you compete with other people on the rates that you offer okay in return so you give an amount and you compete with other people which can basically uh, which they can basically lend money as you do as well okay and for example if we take the usd dollar okay the average return per year is 27.96 and in 24 hours you have 87.23 so okay it's a very good uh, it's a very good rate if you think about it uh, on more stable platforms or let's say on more custodian platforms and which are regulated by, by a lot of institutions and where it's not like a free market for lending you are not going to see this type of rates. Obviously, this fluctuates all the time because people compete with each other uh, how to lend and to whom to lend. Okay. Uh, for ETH, let's see. Where do we have it? Where do we have it? Okay, we have 5.43%, uh, which is not a, a great one. So this is another... another uh, let's say another aspect of Bitfinex, another tool from them that you can use and for which you can get pretty good uh, results overall, okay? As you can see, you get, you get some good results on, on, some of the, on some of the currencies, okay? For Japanese yens, 22.27, on Misigo, 26.74, so pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, rates. Now another platform where basically you can lend is Nexo, which is a custodian platform 
regulated by more institutions. Okay, so she, it's basically it's backed or insured by a bigger institution. And what you can see here, we have earned up to 12% on your idle assets. Okay, which is a decent number. So if we are going to scroll down, what we can see here, okay, we can see the percentages in euro up to 12%, pounds 12%, uh, USDT, which is basically US dollar, but in crypto, 12%. So very, very good rates. Okay, these are stable rates. These don't go up and down. Okay, you just top up your account. And uh, that, that's how it works. Okay, you top up with account, you have a minimum of 1000, for example, euros here. And at the end of the year, you will have an extra 120 euros. Okay, this is how this works. Pretty, pretty simple. And another good part about Nexo, you can earn dividends, 30% dividends from Nexo, which is again great, okay? Because if you buy the Nexo tokens, you will basically buy a stake in, in the company, right? You earn 30% dividends, obviously, according uh, to how much Nexo it's in the platform, 70% they reinvest in the platform into developing it and earning even more. Okay, it's a pretty, pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good deal, we think. So these are the, the two platforms that we recommend for lending. Obviously, there are many others out there, uh, but uh, these are the two ones that we recommend. Okay, thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture.